Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a little short video of some ideas that's gonna help you with your barbecue, especially if you have a magma barbecue. This video will help out in a lot of things that you've probably been having in the past. Well, this has the solution for it. So stay tuned for that solution coming up right now. So here we go. All right, so I'm sure you've been at the uh, sandbar and you have your barbecue turned on on your boat, but it's a little bit windy that day. And what happens is that these holes here, a lot of wind blow in there. And uh, what happens is that your burner uh, uh, shuts off and then you have to restart it again. And uh, that does it many, many times. I'm sure everybody's been through that before. Uh, you turn on your barbecue and a few minutes later, bam, you check it and there's no flames in there because the wind comes through here and it turns off the flame inside. If you've had that problem, we have the solution here right now. And here it is right there. This baby right here is gonna stop that wind going in there. And what all it is is just a piece of stainless steel metal. It's gonna be bolted right in the middle there. And then as your barbecue, and you could turn this, close it, open it a little bit, open it all the way. So that's what this is gonna do. It's gonna prevent that wind going inside your barbecue and blowing off your burner. So, and with this, you can close it a little bit or open it all, whatever you like to do with it, whatever is best for you at the moment. And uh, here's the barbecue that we have. It's a magma marine barbecue. This is the party kettle. This is the bigger ones of the uh, round ones. And we're gonna go ahead and install that item right there. And these are the tools we're gonna need. We're gonna need a, a bolt. I'll give you the measurements afterwards. The nut, a lock nut, washers, an Allen wrench, a little um, open and close uh, wrench and a Phillips screwdriver. So the first thing we're gonna do is take off that little screw there. And all that is is just a little stud in there that uh, it prevents from the lid going back all the way. So it hits this end here and the, and the lid stays there straight. So that's all that does there. So it doesn't really matter because in our uh, installation that we have now, uh, it doesn't matter there's something right behind it that holds the lid but anyway we're still going to keep that little stud there just in case we need it in the future so here we go with the install all right so the first thing we're going to do is loosen this little screw here which i already have had pre loosened just grab it from the back side and turn it until it comes loose this is pretty simple here you just take off the little screw that comes with it and this is the stud behind it that holds that lid not to open all the way through we're still going to reuse this part here and let me see if the uh, bolt that we have happens to be the same size that's got to double check that and it is and uh, all you have to do is buy another screw i have it a little bit longer and let's see if it still works out but um, it should be fine Okay, so here we go with the installation. I get the, uh, the little cover that we produced. We made this. And uh, we're gonna have um, a little uh, how-to booklet so that you can do this yourself at home without having to pay for it. And uh, we'll give you all the measurements you need to know to cut it out and how to cut it out. And um, that's it. It, it. This part here, it took us maybe about uh, maybe an hour, hour and a half of, of, of making it and cutting it and uh, and then filing down all the sharp edges and all that and cutting this little piece here. And this is what this is here. It's a holder so we can turn it side to side without having to touch the whole thing and get burned because it'll probably be hot when the barbecue is working. So the next thing we're going to do, is we're going to put this up here, line the uh, center screw grab one of these washers just put it on the screw put it in the middle there open your lid we're going to get another washer 
Yeah, we forgot about that one. A washer under here. And then this one goes in the middle. Okay, just put that through there. Okay, now we have another washer. It's gonna go on the inside. Okay. We need, to, we need a third hand for this. And then we're gonna use the lock nut. And then at the end, we'll put this little stud. So let's see how that works out. Let's put the uh, nut. And there we have the screw with the lock nut and the, um, the washer there. We're gonna go ahead and use this tool right here. And this one is a 716. 716, open close, wrench, and a Phillips screwdriver for the outside bolt. All right, so let's go and tighten it up. Here's the outside one. That'll be the Phillips. Inside, we'll be using this part. All right, so we'll go ahead and put that wrench on the inside nut and Phillips on the outside. We're going to tighten it up until it feels a little snug. We don't want to tighten it up where it's going to be really hard to turn when you need to adjust the uh, airflow. And uh, let me see let's see how far in we need. We need just enough for this to be a little loose, but not too loose. So we're going to go ahead and tighten a little bit more. Let me see. A little bit more. Now it's starting to get a little tighter. And there we go. That's what we need there. Okay. See, right now, it is still not really easy to turn. You don't, you don't want it to be turning on its own. So you need a little, little bit of force with one finger. And you can turn it and close it all the way if you need to. Like right now, it's closed. No air will go in there very slightly. You could open it a little bit if you want, right there. You could open it halfway, or you could open it full. So I'll show you the inside so you can see how it looks. We're gonna put the little stud inside there for the cover. We'll put that next. You're not gonna find this item anywhere in the internet, not even from magma, but this item will help you controlling the wind and also not only the wind but the heat inside your kettle so if you want a little bit more heat to build up inside you just close it a little bit and adjust it as needed the next thing this is a little stud that we have here and we're going to go ahead and screw it on there and that is perfect so now we still can use that stud it'll hang right here at the edge of the um, barbecue when you open it all the way this will prevent the, for it to go all the way down and it'll stay right here and it's that in that position all the time so this you just tight as far, hard as you can by hand and that's it it'll stay there it won't move it's never moved before but here's the outcome of this cover now you see how easy it is to adjust the holes on there completely done it just takes a few minutes to install and the item the little cover that we did here that took us about an hour and a half um, more or less uh, to get done uh, because we had to uh, cut a hole in the middle cut these six holes and then we had to cut the whole thing the diameter the, the bigger diameter and then we had to do this little thing here which we cut out from the edge here and then fold it down so that way you can grab it and turn it when you need it easily and uh, and that's it so basically that's all it is it's really inexpensive but this will give you a big help when you're out there at the sandbar and all that wind is blowing your burner out all the time this is going to help solve that problem so hope you like this video it was a simple one easy one but it's a big help to have one of these 
on your bag month. Thank you so much for watching the video. And again, thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't liked the video yet, don't forget to splash the like button right below there. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for your support. And we'll see you out on the sandbar. Peace from the Keys. Yeah.